Hi Taurus, this is your January 3rd through January 9th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Nine of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands qualified by the King of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands qualified by the Four of Wands. In the potential outcome we have the Ace of Cups uh, with the Chariot and the Ten of Cups and we also have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or perhaps a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. What's interesting about this spread is about half of the cards are on the table are cups cards and another half are wands cards right so you are either dealing with a water sign or uh, or a fire sign or perhaps this person is like a water sign with a lot of fire or vice versa you know a fire sign with a lot of water in them but um, they could be pretty much any zodiac sign that's the thing about the king of cups that's the person you're dealing with the third card from the left, right? The King of Cups could be any zodiac sign. It could just come through as a love interest, or this King of Cups could be somebody who is mature, you know, but at the same time still very loving. And it's going to be almost impossible, or actually impossible, for you towards to resist this person, right? Um, and it's, this person is like a hybrid. It's like we got lots of love here and lots of passion at the same time. Right, so we've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. We got the Four of Wands, which is a commitment or marriage cards, uh, and we also have the Ten of Cups, which is also a commitment or marriage card. Right, and the, the Devil on the bottom of the deck, all the way here, right? it's the personal Capricorn card. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, or the Devil is all about somebody whom you're not going to be able to say no. This person is irresistible. You will find both love and passion with this person. And if that's what you've been looking for, then that dream is definitely being granted. That wish is definitely granted this week for you, Taurus. And speaking of wishes being granted, the Nine of Cups, the very first card that came out, is a card of a wish come true. <laughs> it's a card of a uh, granted wish, right? Then we have uh, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a card of a passionate new beginning. It's qualified by the King of Cups. We already talked about that King of Cups, right? We have the Eight of Wands next, qualified by the Four of Wands. The Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck. The Chariot, by the way, in the um, potential outcome, is the second fastest card in the deck. So it's like this. It's like crazy. Uh, it kind of makes me feel of somebody with split personality, but I don't think that's it. <laughs> I don't think that's it. I think this person is really all about, you know, this person combines both love and passion within them. Um, and uh, the Eight of Wands is a card of trouble, so if this person is at a distance from you, they could uh, come see you, they could come uh, pay you a visit, or perhaps both of you. We'll go travel together, we'll have a weekend getaway together or something like that. But the Eight of Wands is also a Cupid's Arrows card, so the Cupid is really hard at work on your behalf here. And uh, the Eight of Wands is qualified by the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is the first commitment or marriage card on the table. Um, some people call it the 1111 card, so perhaps Divine Timing is at play here. right? In the potential outcome we have the Ace of Cups with the Chariot and the Ten of Cups. The Ace of Cups is the second Ace, but the Ace of Cups is all about love, genuine and authentic love, right? The Chariot, as I already mentioned, is also a pretty fast card. Uh, the Chariot is the personal Cancer card. You could be dealing with a Cancer. Uh, the Chariot is also a card of victory. It's uh, the two of you moving forward and not looking back, you know. And what you're moving towards is the Ten of Cups. So essentially, like the what we have on the right is pretty much a, is a repeat of what we have on the left, right? <laughs> on the left we have uh, mostly ones, and uh, on the right we have mostly cups. Well, cups and uh, the chariot, right? So it's no matter how we look at this, um, you know, the uh, the outcome is pretty much the same. <laughs> the outcome is a is a commitment or marriage for you, Taurus and. Uh, with, with this person. The Ten of Cups, by the way, is a card of a family. It's the happily ever after card. Um, and it's actually one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. 
Yeah, and don't forget about the devil. We already talked about it. Like I said, it could be a Capricorn or it's just, uh, you know, this person is going to make you an offer you're not going to be able to refuse, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> really, really like it, Taurus. Uh, I think you're lucky with this person. Passion and love in, uh, in one. Passion and love in one. Really happy for you, Taurus. Congratulations. Taurus, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Eight of Swords, qualified by the Three of Pentacles. We have Temperance, we have the Empress, and we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This will probably resonate with few of you. i got to be honest with you. I only see one thing here. Um, and that is, if you've been trying to get pregnant, Taurus, um, you, will hear some, you may hear some good news this week. Right? Um, so yeah, the Eight of Swords, the first card that came out, this is a card of us. Uh, somebody who is stuck, trapped in their own thoughts, or perhaps you're just not sure if this will ever happen, right? And uh, perhaps you went to different doctors, you went through different uh, consultations, uh, you've been trying really hard, right? The Eight of Swords is classified by the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of, you know, collaboration. <laughs> so if uh, you and your significant other have been trying, collaborating on this, and nothing happened over the last... I don't know, a couple of months, then this this week you'll hear some good news. The Three of Pentacles, you see how there is one person standing a little bit above the other two in the Three of Pentacles, you see that? So uh, every once in a while the Three of Pentacles comes through as uh, somebody who is being consulted or consulting. So perhaps the two people standing a little bit below, that's you and your significant other and the person standing a little bit above, this is like a doctor or perhaps you went to see different uh, consulting firms about it. You know, I I don't know what that, what that would be called, but perhaps you went to a clinic, perhaps you've tried different things, right? You consulted with different people, and that's why you're stuck and trapped with the Eight of Swords because nothing worked up until now. So temperance in the middle is the card of patience. Yeah, so you've been patiently doing all these things, trying really hard. Uh, the Empress right next to the deck is uh, somebody is a person who is expecting a baby in this particular spread. That's all I see here, <laughs> Taurus, to be honest with you. The Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is a brand spanking new beginning. This is good news. The Ace of Swords often comes, th comes through as the word yes. So yes, finally, yeah, you're getting uh, what you always wanted, Taurus. Really, really happy for you, Taurus. Congratulations. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Taurus, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Also keep in mind, we're in Venus retrograde until January 29th, and uh, this is when more exes than usual could resurface. And uh, here comes one of them. We have the Six of Swords, we have the Three of Cups qualified by the Fool, we have the Ten of Cups, and we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra or pretty much any zodiac sign. If you're thinking about going to a party or an event or a gathering this week, Taurus, you may run into this person there and uh, the two of you will give it another go. Um, for others of you, they may invite you all of a sudden out of the blue to some sort of a concert or an event or a gathering to a birthday party, not their birthday party. I uh, would just have to assume a Capricorn's <laughs> birthday party. And uh, if you do go, then the two of you will reconnect there. But for others of you, you know, they'll just text you or call you or come knock on your door, ring your doorbell. Right? Uh, so the Six of Swords, uh, the first card I came out, this is a card of somebody coming back from the past in this particular spread. Or this is a card of uh, you going someplace. Right? And uh, the next card over is the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups could be that place you're going. Um, a party or an event or a gathering, right? Or, like I said, they could invite you to go. Or, um, if this is them coming back from the past, the Three of Cups in this case could also play out uh, as a card of a reunion, right? Uh, the full clarifying the Three of Cups is a card of a second chance, just wiping the slate clean, just trying it again from ground zero. Um, Justice on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, is the personal Libra card. You could be dealing with a Libra. Or Justice could be them having to apologize to you. Justice is actually a major, major apology. They want to make things right with you. Justice could also represent the legal system. And by that I mean, uh, you know, I do see the two of you getting back together, right? So, yeah, Justice could be you two getting married. And that could be like an actual place where people get married, like a chapel. Or it could be a person 
who's got the authority to marry other people, right? Like a minister or a priest. And the last card I came out is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a commitment or marriage card. Yep. Um, if having children is still an option for you, Taurus, the two of you could definitely have children together with the, that Ten of Cups. Because you see there is a couple of adults and also a couple of kids jumping around. Yep. So, yeah, hopefully it lasts for years and decades and decades to come. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Taurus. Uh, this week we have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Six of Cups, we have Justice, and we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, I can interpret this spread a couple of different ways. Um, you're dealing, well, you're, most likely you're dealing with someone or something from the past, or something that started in the past is finally coming to a very victorious and successful end, especially if it has to do with the... Uh, uh, the legal system, right? Justice, right next to the deck, uh, it could be a court order, right? So perhaps if you're, you're definitely winning something here, right? Or for some of you, if you were on vacation, you could be coming back to work <laughs> and uh, everybody's just happy to see you because everything went down the toilet without you <laughs> while you were away. Right? So, but for most of you, you're definitely either being recognized for something or, um, you know, or you're winning at something here. So, yeah, the six of ones, the first card I came out, this is a card of victory, it's a card of success, it's a card of recognition, it's a card of somebody who rides in on a white horse and everybody's cheering them up, right? Uh, it's clarified by the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, it could be um, you, you know, raising a glass to this victory, you know, with uh, your co-workers. Um, or the Page of Cups is uh, good news coming your way, right? Then we got the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of uh, the past. Um, so if, uh, like I said, if something started in the past, then uh, it's going to come to a victorious conclusion, especially if it has to do with the legal system, right? Or uh, perhaps you're going back to your workplace <laughs> that you left in 2021. So uh, technically you're going back to the past, <laughs> going back to your workplace, but everybody's happy to see you, right? And uh, it's, they'll be saying, like, finally, the store is back. Now everything is going to go back in order. <laughs> and uh, the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, that's you, Taurus. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. For very few of you, you could somebody from your past could reach out to you and uh, offer you something, something good for you, something you deserve, or perhaps they want to make things right with you. But for most of you, you're winning. You're definitely winning something or you're being recognized. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, to us this week. We have the Moon, clarified by the Two of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Hierophant. And we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The phrase that comes through is you're leaving your worries behind. You're not going to worry about something anymore. And it could be with somebody else's help, or it could be some information becoming available to you, or it could be you doing that all on your own. But some, you're definitely leaving something behind, and uh, you are very worried about it. Right? So the moon, the first guy that came out, it could be a Pisces you're dealing with, by the way. Or the moon is uh, one of the most emotional cards in the tarot deck. It's a card of somebody having fears, anxieties. Perhaps you think that something is hidden from you. You're not. You don't know the whole truth, or you're just uncertain about something. And uh, it's going to become a thing of the past. Because uh, first of all, the moon is clarified by the two of swords. The two of swords in this case is uh, uh, the words "no more." So no more moon energy. <laughs> then we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, it could be somebody uh, coming in. The Knight of Swords could be an information coming in or a person coming in with information that will leave the moon card, uh, the moon energy behind. Or it's you. You know, the Knight of Swords out of all four, uh, four knights is the one that tends to get into a fight, but it's also like an aggression. So you're basically you're fighting it off. On your by yourself perhaps you were a little bit sad and depressed about something and this week um, you're gonna fight it off you will remember that it's not a good thing not a good idea to you know stay in this energy or it could be somebody else coming to you and helping you with it 
And uh, the next card I came at is the Six of Swords, and it's clarified by the Hierophant. The Six of Swords is a card of moving on, it's a card of uh, a rough patch being over, it's a card of somebody who is just leaving something behind, right? And uh, the Hierophant clarifying the Six of Swords, that's you. So that's you who is leaving all that, all those worries behind. The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, this is the start of a cycle, a new cycle of your life. So if you're a little bit stressed out, a little bit depressed, or you just were a little worried about something, yeah, that's it. That's it's done. It's over with. It's going to become a thing of the past, and that's what you're not expecting. All right. So that's what I got for you, Taurus, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Taurus, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life, one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.